I'm going to show you how to make BT21 Polaroid drawings. What you're going to need is transparent book covering film, A8 paper, some 0.3 gel pen or a black pen, I'm using Faber-Castell. You're going to need a pencil and an eraser for your sketches, 0.1 black pen for your fine details, a small post-it note or a ruler. My post-it note is 5 centimeters by 3.8. You're going to start with your A8 paper and your small post-it note and position it on the top part, leaving the bottom wider and higher than the top part. You can even use your ruler to do some measurements on how big you want the frame to be. You're going to take your 0.3 gel pen or a black pen and go around it making the frame. You don't have to make the corners perfect. I'm going to do them by hand because it's easier that way. Now you're going to go make seven more, so you have eight in total, and you're going to go online to look at some pictures of the characters and choose the pose that you want. We are going to start with Koya. First you're going to draw the head kind of like a mochi shape, and then for the ears we're going to draw half of a circle and almost a full circle with circles inside, an egg shape for the ear, the nose, and then we're going to start with the U for a tummy. We're going to draw one hand on one side. Then I like to do the, it kind of looks like a J, but to the opposite side. And then another J normal way. And then finish with the, la the other hand. Going to erase it later so we don't have such bold drawings. You can leave them. I'm going to leave them later. Uh, and we're going to go with our black pen and go over the lines to finish the drawing. You can use smaller pens like 0.1 thickness for smaller details like the tummy and the inside of the ears and we're done with Koya. Next one is going to be Cookie. Again we're going to start with kind of like a mochi shaped head and then we're going to go with ears, one going up and the other is going to be downwards, kind of like a sided P. One eyebrow is bolder than the other and he is smiling. Then we're going to draw his legs and his arms, one going up and one down. Then go over it with your black pen to finish the drawing. And cookie is done. Now we have Tata. Make a heart, not a normal heart. One side is higher than the other one and an inside you're gonna make kind of like a circle, semi-circle uh, and mouth inside. Now you're gonna start sideways to make one leg and the other one the other way like his kind of stretching sideways, too small lines on each side of the heart with connecting the body with the heart to make his hands as if they're going behind his head. Now just fill it in with your black pen and the dots on his body I'm gonna do with my 0.1 pen. Next one is Timmy. We're gonna start with a small circle and go around the circle with kind of like a mochi shaped uh, and one cheek is outside that mochi and the teardrop for one ear and another one is kind of like a also a teardrop but not all the way uh, two kind of like small tablets for his hands and then we're gonna make the body around that with two strings hanging down. Now just do his eyes, nose and the lip with a tongue sticking out and go all over it with your black pen 
and filling in his ears. And Timmy is done. Next one is Shuki. We're going to start with kind of like a peanut shape for the bottom ones, a cloud, a semicircle, and just filling in the blanks with kind of like a top part, like a stage, and then another semicircle, and a mochi head with open mouth with a small tooth in the middle, one curved eyebrow and one straight with his hands on each side and two legs on the bottom. The faces are going to be in that peanut one, one smiley face, one like mech, and one super open mouth in kind of like a triangle. And we have Shuki. Next is RJ. We're gonna start with a circle and underneath it we're gonna make um, kind of like an egg shape and follow that egg shape to make the poofy body of RJ kind of like a cloud and then make the smiling face his um, thing around his neck and just make sure that he is kind of like a if as if you're drawing a cloud just make sure you have those his body is poofy and fluffy. And don't forget the two ears on the top of his head. And this is RJ. Next up is Mang. We're gonna start with a circle and kind of make it as if it's like the ball, um, the globe. We're gonna make a heart inside of his head with a one eye, two ears and behind one of the ears like his hair, one tablet shape for his one hand and one egg shape for one leg pointing upwards, one leg going down, one arm going down and don't forget his tail. Like you can see here, I made his body a bit thicker because it looked too skinny opposed to his head. Next is Van. We're going to start with a circle and kind of like a horn on the top. Put one line on the middle going straight down and two lines on the side and connect to the middle line to make his legs. One hand is up, one hand is down. His face has a straight line for the mouth and an X and an O for his eyes. And we have Ven. Now you can erase all of the marks you did with your pencil for the sketches. Now that we have all of our sketches, we're gonna t you can either color them with pencils or pens. I'm gonna have them black and white. Now we're gonna take our transfer, transparent book covering film, put one of those on it, and as you can see, it has squares on the back side. And I'm gonna measure, I have eight squares going down, and I'm just gonna cut it all the, all the way. I am using my X-Acto knife. You can use your scissors or I don't know, you, you don't use a knife. Now you're gonna open it, put your drawings upside down and put them on the covering film. Now you flip them and you take your ruler and you just go over them so you get rid of all the, all the air bubbles and stuff like that. You can even use your nails or your thumb to get rid of smaller ones. Now you're gonna take your 
exacto knife or your scissors and cut all the excess covering film off of it. Careful not to cut yourself, please be very careful. And now you have this shiny part. You can use double-sided tape on the back and you can make stickers like I made a camera here. When you're done, we have all of our characters. As you saw on Cookie, he has some like air bubbles because I was not very careful with getting rid of them at the start. So be very careful on how you position the film and everything else. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun filming and have a nice day. Bye!